How to distort an image in Critter using the mesh feature. Go over here to the transform tool, select that. Then go to settings and down to dockers and tool options. Here's the tool options. And go here, go for the mesh. That's the last entry there, you can see there. And also accurate. Now default is one and one. And you can see as soon as you've got that, you've got these handles around the edge. You can distort using that. So click there. So that's the one I'm using and just drag. You can't click and drag in the center of the layer, but you can go to the edge. So you can drag from the edge and you can see again, you've got these handles there. You can turn the handles off if you don't want the handles. Also, you can lock the handles in particular ways. That's useful. I'm just going to drag that as well, that side. And you can do both sides. So once you've done that, you think, well, I want slightly more interesting mesh than that. You can go here and put four and four. Now, once you've done that, entered that four and four, you can see now you've got this. Four of these points all around here. And now you can manipulate in the center of the layer. And you can just tweak there. So you just drag that up that way and that will distort that. It does take a few seconds to distort. You can click on this one and drag that to create some interesting distortions there. Just drag that. You can drag them all over the place. You can move it all the way over there if you want. You can really distort it. Or, which you might not, you end up, unfortunately, when you do that, you end up with these sort of sharp edges, which I don't, don't think looks, ever looks that great. If you want a nice smooth one, it's just easier just to use these handles, just to move it very subtle great nice distortions like sort of pushing it in and out and you can apply that elsewhere as well and of course you can change the number of columns I don't know if there's a limit so it could be 10 or 10 50 or 50 I have no idea once you're happy with it click apply and that's it it's been processed it's done however you can of course go back to it you've got here just simply go on here again click on here and as soon as you click the document you've still got with this active, you've still got all these there and you can continue to distort it if you want to do. So it's not completely finished. You can still manipulate it even more. You can also click reset. Now reset just resets it. It doesn't reset it back to the original complete original image. It would be nice if it did, but it doesn't. So that's it. You've got your mesh, wonderfully done using the transform tool. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know. Please put in the comments anything about the mesh feature. Thank you much.